Today, uh, we're going to learn a very fascinating and interesting topic, which appears here in Yehoshua, Perek Daled, Psukim, Yutes, and Chof, and I'm reading the Psukim. We're going to go through a journey throughout history, which commences today, okay? So let's give us uh, some kind of a background uh, information about where we're holding. Bnei Yisrael crossed the Yarden, as we just learned in the last couple shiurim, in Yud Nisan. In Yud Nisan, at that day, they crossed the Yarden. At the end of that day, they had a very fascinating day, because at the end of that day, they're coming back to Gilgal. In other words, they are making a journey, according to most shittas in Chazal and in Rishonim, it's a machlekes, it's not so poshut. They went to Hargrizim and Ar-Evil, which are the Grizim Evil we know next to Shechem, Shishim Mil, that's a very, it's like the Herakvitsa Saderich, according to the Radal and the Tesefte. And they make a turnaround, they're doing what they do, we're going to soon learn what they do in Haragrizim and Ha'evil, the Brochos and the Klolos and the Ksiva Satoyo, the Avonim and the Akrovos HaKobonis, keep Lu and coming back to Gilgal. And the evening of that day, which is Leil Yud Aleph, they come to the hotel, Lamaloin, as they say here in the Psukim, and they sleep in the Malon. In the morning, the next morning, Yud Aleph Nisan, this is a day after they come to Eretz Yisrael, they put up the Yud Beis Avonim, this pasuk that we just learned, Veshtemeser Avonim Oel Ashelokum in Ayade, Yehikim Yeshua Bagilgal, is 24 hours past crossing the yard, which happened on or about Sholi Shoyes Beyoim, as I state in the Sefta in Saita, which is at that time of the year, on or about 9 o'clock a.m. Uh, at that day, they went, they do the whole journey, the Makiv the Korbanis, the Brochus, the Clovis, and they make a U turn, they come back and they park themselves in Gilgo, which is on or about two and a half mile east to Yericho, of which is the Maboris Ayarden of Yericho. From Yitzias Mitzrayim until Churban Beis Hamikdash Harishain, which was Nivna al Yedei Shleim HaMelech, it took exactly 850 years. And there are various dinim which were reform, interchange, throughout the period of this 180, 50 years. So I would like to learn with you right now together, we should we should have a, a chlorokite, is the Mishnah in Perek Poros Chatos, which is a Mishnah in Zvachim, uh, at the end of Zvachim, and the Mishnah is talking to us about the various stations of the Mishkan from the time of the Mishkan Hamidbor until Beis Hamikdash Harishim, which was built by Shlem. The oil moed, which was in the midbor, lasted for 39 years, exactly, 40 minus 1. Why? B'nei Yisrael, go out of its rhyme, as we know, anybody who participated in this shurim already knows the date by heart. Beis alofim, tof memches, 2448, oilom. They get the Torah, after Yom Kippur of the next day, of the next year, in Yom Kippur, Yom Tov Mem Tes, 2449, after Maisa Egel and the Kabbalah Sluchay Shniyas, they are mitzuve to build the Mishkan, which took place the entire winter of the second year. They build it in the winter, Chof Gimel Ador, which is on or about 11 months, a little bit more close to a year after they come out of Mitzrayim, is Nishlomo Meleches Binyan Hamishkon, Shmei Nesemi Hamiluim, and Rosh Chodesh Nisan, of the second year that Tziyaz of Mitzrayim, is the first time the Mishkan is active. Bnei Yisrael were in the Midbar total from the Zman HaYetzieh till the Zman HaKniso, Le'eretz Yisrael, now, where we're holding today, Yud, Yud Nisan, 40 years, 40 years minus 4 days, we already made the whole Cheshben, but on or about, 40 years. Inasmuch 
that the Mishkan was only built or started becoming active was Shchodesh Nisan Tov Memtes. And we are holding right now Yud Nisan Tov Pei Ches, 39 years. So the Mishnah, when the Mishnah says, Oyel Moyet Sheb Midbar, Boyim Choser Achas, this is 39 years the Mishnah is talking about. It's not exactly 39 years because the Mishkan is, uh, you know, they came out of Mitzrayim. The, the Mishkan is Rosh Chodesh Nisan, and the Mishkan is, we'll, we'll see exactly what happens in the coming to Gilgal. We'll see. Okay, so let's put it a second on hold because we're going to see exactly when is the reconstruction of the Mishkan, the Mishkan Hamidbor in Gilgal. Next, says the Mishnah, Yemei Oyel Moet Shebel Gilgal Arba Yisre Shama. Sheva Shekibshu Sheva Shechilku. From the time they came to Eretz Yisrael in Yud Nisan, Tov Peiches, there were 14 years. So those 14 years, those were the years when the Mishkan dwelled in Gilgal. That's called Mishkan Shebe Gilgal, 14 years, which is during the 14 years of uh, Kibush and Chalukah thereafter. Yemei Ol Moyet Sheba Noive Vegiven, Chamishim Vesheva, the Noive Vegiven, for some reason or another, the Mishnah chronologically does not name the next Mishkan, because the Mishkan, the Mishnah wants to make a mathematical algorithm to figure out how, how long they were in Shiloh, but it jumps to after Shiloh, and it says, Yemei Oil Moyed, I'm reading the Mishnah, Sheba Noive Vegiven, Chamishim Vesheva. What's the Chamishim Vesheva? That comprises of 13 years in Noiv and 44 years in Givri. So Noiv again, which comes after the Mishkan Shiloi, together collectively is 57 years. Says the Gemara, Nishtayru Lashiloi Gimel Meois Veshivim Choser Achas. Apparently, if we add all the numbers together, Shiloi, which was between Gilgal and Noiv and Givri, is 369. Why? Because how do we how do we get to to Aboim uh, to, to three hundred and sixty nine? If we take the year of the Mishkan in the Midbar thirty nine, and I add on the Mishkan of Noive Givain and Gilgal together, we're going to come out one hundred and ten years altogether collectively. All the three thirty nine plus the fourteen plus the fifty seven will come to exactly 110. If the Gemara says that if the Pasuk says that there were 480 years uh, from Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim till Binyan Beis Amikdash, minus one year which took from Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim till the Binyan Amishkan, a first Mishkan, so it comes out, if I minus everything, I come to 369, which that's the day of the Mishkan, which was in Gilgal, 369 years. Okay. So this is the Gemara. So we have 39 years in the Midbar, 14 years in Gilgal, 369 in Shiloi, 57 collectively in Noive Given, and then we have the Beis Hamikdash 480 years later. We have Beis Hamikdash of Shleim HaMelech, which lasted 410 years, and this is the, the the reason why it says after 850 years from the Yisrael came, because if we take the 410 plus the 440 years, because 480, but minus the 40 years in the Midbar from till they came to Eretz Yisrael, we come, that's why it says the Chubra Beis Hamikdash happened, the Pasuk says Chubra Beis Hamikdash happened 850 years after they came out, they came into Eretz Yisrael. The Gemara continues, and the Gemara dissects the Mishnah, and the Gemara says like this, How do we know? The Omar Mar, Shono Rishonu Osa Moshe Esa Mishkan, first year Moshe Mishnah Mishkan, Shono Shnio Hukoma Mishkan, the reason why it says Osa Moshe Esa Mishkan, Shono Rishonu means that it's Sivui, the commencement started the first year, right after Yom Kippur, throughout the whole winter, we started counting the year from Moshe Edish Nisan the previous year. So during the Construction of Beis Hamikdash, it was still Shana Rishayim. That's what it's called in the Brisa. Shana Rishayim also Moshe Esam Mishkan, Shnei Hukam Hamishkan, because after Rosh Chodesh Nisan, that's exactly Hukam Hamishkan. Rosh Chodesh Nisan starts the second year. Veshilach Moshe Meraglim, okay, and they were 
punished to stay in the Midbar 39 years, so there were 40 years. And since the Beis Hamikdash, the Mishkan, was the entire time, it's Yosem and Mitzrayim, was 39 years. That's the Poshtachet. Shebegilgal Arboz Arboesre, how do you know that the Mishkan in Gilgal lasted 40 years? Says the Gemara, Sheva Shekipshu Vecheshava Shechilka. Because we know these seven years Shekipshu and seven years Chilka. So the Gemara Minolo, how do you know that the, really the Kibbush of the Chilka took 14 years? We know, we have, everybody learns in the Gemara, Sheva Shekipshu Vecheshava Shechilka. How do you know the, how do you know this number, this holy number of Sheva Shekipshu Vecheshava Shechilka? It doesn't say, if we look out through the entire Sefer Yeshua, it doesn't give us a date as to the number of years that it took. But, the Komar Kolev, if we see later, later on in the later Prokim, Kolev ben Yefun, it comes to Yeshua ben Nun and he asks him as a be a reward. He was one of the Meraglim that came to Eretz Yisrael the first time when Moshe sent the Meraglim. He was also one of the Meraglim, as we learned before, that came to investigate Eretz Yisrael, the Shaliach of Yeshua, Kolev and Pinchas. So Kolev comes later, and he goes in to Yeshua Binun. He comes in, and he starts saying, you know, he's saying, and he, I'm quoting, Zok Kolev ben Yefune, Ben Arboim Shona Anoichi Bishloach Moishe Eved Hashem Oisim Mikodesh Barnei El Ragel Asoretz, V'ashiv Oisa Dova Kasherim Levavi, V'ato Yineini Hayoim Ben Shmoinim V'chome Shono. Okay. I was 40 years old by the Miraglim, the first time, and today, when you're giving, you're, you're dispersing the Chalukah, I am 85 years old. This is ages that are written in the scripts. This is a pasuk later on in Sefer Yeshua. Zog de Gemara, ki avra le yarden, ave, how old was Kolev when they over the yarden? Bashivim ve tamne. He was 78. Why? Because the story of the Meraglim happened two days ago. In few days ago, in Choftes Sivan, okay, that's the Gemara, it says in Tainus Dav Choftes, but Choftes Sivan, Shavach Meraglim, for 40 days, and they came back on Tisha B'Av of the same year, okay, so this is the second year for Tzai Mitzrayim, okay, this is the second year, this is after the Mishkan, and we know that called that Moshe sent the Meraglim in Choftes Sivan, okay, then he was 40 years, take another 38 years till, four, till the end of the 40th year that we're in the Midbar, so he becomes 78 years of age. Another 38 years, he becomes 78 years of age, okay? And at the end of the Kibush, he says to Yeshua, Ben Chomesh Rishmoinim Shono, so it comes out, if he's 78 and he says, I'm now 85, there's a raya that the Sheva Shekibshu, that the Zman HaKibush took seven years. If he was... 40, and now he's 85, 40, you add on the years, the 38 years, it's 38 and change, 38 and change years, he's 78 and change, and now he's finished with the kibush, beginning the Chalukah, so if he's 85, apparently the kibush took 7 years. Sheva Shechilku, you know, how do you know the Sheva Shechilku? You boys say, maybe the Sheva Shechilku, Sheva Nami Shechilku, since the kibush took 7 years, the Chalukah 7 years. The first one is this far. Stories like this. Stories like this. Yecheskel Anovi is misnabe starts its nevua in Shnas Hayoivo. It says it says in the pasuk in Yecheskel, Beroi Shashono beOsar Lachodesh beArbaes Rishona Acharei Shehukzo Yir Oisar Lav Yad Hashem. That was Shnas Hayoivo. That the Rosh Gemara says, "Ezu Shana Shel Rosh Hashanah Shelo BeAsoyer." Which Shana the Rosh Hashanah is the Asoyer? Is that Shna Sayevo? If we're gonna take on that Sheva Shekibush and Sheva Shechilku, we have fourteen years. So it comes out that till the Yoyvel started Binoyeg the Shana Rishayno, right? Till the Yoyeg started Noyeg the Pama Rishayno, that the 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 Beis Hamikdash was Nechrav in 36 years to, to the Yoivo. 14 years later, in the Yoivo, a Kodesh Baruch who is talking to Yechesko. So it comes out from Yitzias Mitzrayim till Binyan Abayi, state and Pasuk, was 480 years. If we take 40 years in the Midbar, so we have 440 years, okay? Because there was no Yoivo. The Yoivo only started when it came to Eretz If we take 410 years 
of the Beis HaMikdash Arishim Pesukim of Ferashim, that we have 850 years. 850 divided by 50 is 17. It's exact the number that divides by 50. So you have 17 Yoivlois, full Yoivlois. If we deduct 14 years of Kibbish and Chluka, because the Gemara says in Kedushin that Eina Yoivl Noeg El Alacha Kibbish Vechluka, they don't start when they come into Eretz They start when they made Kibbish and Chluka. So it comes out that the Bais was Nechrav 14 years, Koydem Ashlom Asayevil. That's only right if the algorithm, if the Cheshben of 14 years, Sheva Shekib Sheva Sheva Shechluk. So the more is trying to figure out each and every source of when and what happened throughout the year. Bole Gilgal, said the Mishnah of I'm continuing the Mishnah, who threw our bombs. Which means like this, when Klaus saw the Midbar, they were Makiv only in the Mishkan. When they came to Gilgal, each one could take on his backyard, make a barbecue, a bomber, okay, we have to know what a bomber is, a Makiv Korbanus. Calls man is Isra Bomas. His man Isra Bomas, the guy makes a korban Lashem, Oil Lashem Shlomim in his backyard on his bomba. He's over an Isra Shutuchut, which is a Chayva Krisis. Actually, Ukama Mishkan, it says in the Mishnah, Avoid the Bechoyres, the Moshal. The other Sakdashim, we find out through the Torah, were put up in Mizbech anywhere they wanted, the Mark of Korbats. Mishu Hukama Mishkan, at the year, the second year, it's Yes Mitzah Hukama Mishkan, there was Nesar to be Makiv Korbanis, and anybody who is Makiv, any Korban, throughout the time of the first Mishkan, the 39 years of the Mishkan, is over on Chayvekrisis of Shkutichutz. That's all part of Shkutichutz. Baul Gilgal, Hutra Bonus. When they came from the Gilgal, so came out, something happened, that at that time, the Bomo, the, the Mishkan of Gilgal, did not have the same ramifications, halachic ramifications, as to Aser the Bamas like the Mishkan Shebemidbor. Okay? So 14 years, Klal Yisrael in Gilgal are able to be makriv, beroish gagoi, beroish bamosoi, and his backyard, make a barbecue, a korban, with all the pitchers, it's called korbanis bama. In the second, Gilgal is over, and throughout the 369, by the way, according to Bryce, I said the Elam Rabba, said we share a man that we once brought, but this is the consensus, according to the Bryce, Yeshua Noag is Israel, Shabbat Israel, Chof Cheshono. So Yeshua, and he appears throughout the Sefer, we'll see later on, that Yeshua is active in Mishkan Shile. Mishkan Shile is being put up 14 years after they start the coming to Israel. In, from the time of Shiloh to a Shtikl Tzayim, 369 years, anybody that had to be Makar of a Korban had to go to Shiloh to be Makar. After Shiloh is Nechrav, which will happen the day that Eli Akoyan dies, Eli Akoyan dies and his two children together with him, they die, okay? State that the Oroin was Nishba, was captured, the Oroin, and by Plishtim, and also the time that the Oren came back, and he was in Neve given for Kufa, a period of 57 years, is again Hutra Abomus. So we have interchangeable. Mishkan Amidbar, Nesra Abomus. Bole Gilgal, for some reason there was a temporary Mishkan, Hutra Abomus. Bole Shiloi, Nesra Abomus. Nechra for Shiloi, and they came to Neve given, we have another. 57 years of no bamois, no, no, is the, the, <coughs> the truth of never given you a lot of your makiv in the bama. Okay. After never given, they put the base of in Yerushalayim, says the Gemara, Yerushalayim, and a chareya heter from the time of Shleim Amel, makiv in Yerushalayim, throughout the whole time, even in the time of the Churban. We have to talk about the Churban, maybe the Shir Bifneyatzmoy, what happened. In the seventh year, the way in Bovel, the certain year that stayed in Eretz Yisrael, there's no Beis Hamikdash. The Shaila is if it's called uh, the Izi Isur Shchutichutz, yeah or not. The Shaila is Basmanaze. We don't have Beis Hamikdash. The more it says Omar Rabbi Yechon on Amayla Basmanaze, more in the Shechet VeAmayla is Chayev. Why? Because he holds Mishal Shem Kishal Shem and Kishal Losid Love and Makiv and Afal Bishem Bais and Meilat Skuri the Skabel Lifnim. Even though we have Beis Hamikdash, but it's a total different topic. I don't want to get off the topic that we are. Al Kapone. What do we have? 
Mishken, Aster, Gilgal, Mutter, Shiloi, Aster, Neve Given, Mutter, Besamikdash, Aster, forever. Let's look. It stayed the Fairish that until they came to Bowl of Gilgal, Hutra Bamis, which means to say that the heter of the Bamis, which was intact for 39 years of Mishkan Amidbar, became Mutter when they came, became a Mutter only when Bowl of Gilgal, when they put up the Mishkan in Gilgal. I'm looking at a Possek in Sefer Dvarim, in Parashas Kisovic, Possek, Perek, Chof, Zayim, Psukim. Dalatil Zion. I would like to read the Psukim. When you come to Eretz Yisrael, you go into our Grizim and our Evil, put up the Mizbech and put up Zvachim Oilas Yishlam. This tzivu is fulfilled later on in Perek I'm reading Perek end of Perek Ches. Oz ivne Yeshua mizbech l'Hashem alakei Yisrael ba'arevel kashel tziva moishem ad Hashem kakosem b'teras moishem v'yalu olav oilo v'yizbechu shlom. Where in, when did Yeshua build up this mizbech? So I'm looking at the Gemara and say to the Flame Dalet, Bo u'rei kama nisim nasu b'oiso ayoyim ovu Yisrael l'sayard. Take a look how many Nisim, that Yud Nisim, that day, how many Nisim happened during that day? Bola Grizim Varevel Yosem Shishimil, it's a 60 mile walk from wherever they are in Yerichoi until Har Grizim and Har Evel. They brought the stones with them that they took from the yard, you remember. Bonis Amizbeach, Vesadu Obesi, the Kosovo is called Divrater Bishivim Loshan. In other words, we are in the middle of the Tiyul. Okay, you came to Israel, you have a journey. They tell you day one, day two. We're in day one. They never ever saw Gilgal. Then the journey from Eretz Israel, and they're coming in, and they're walking from yard and 60 miles west in order to get to our grizzly man, our evil. What do they do there? They put up the avoni, they paint him, they write the Torah Shivim Loshon, and they put up a Mizbech, like it says in the term before, you put up Mizbech, and oil is oil is shlomim, and you should be marked with the oil is shlomim, keep Louis avoni, make a U-turn, go back to Gilgal, which is right next to Yerichai, and the next morning, only the next morning, is the commencement of Gilgal era, where they started putting on the Mishkan, the question, how long it took him to put on the Mishkan, it's in the of Ifnei Atzma. But let's say it took him, as, as it seemed from Tesis, it took him three to four days to put up the Mishkan in Gilgal. We are holding today in the day of the Knesset Teretz Yisrael. They're going to our Grizim and our Evil because our Grizim and our Evil, that's where the Tzivu is, they're putting up Mishbech and the Mark of Korbanos. Actually, Bole Gilgal Abomas Asuras. We are right now in the era of the Mishkan Hamidbor. You're right. I mean, the Mishkan Hamidbor, the Easter Abomas were not only in the time of when, when they were Chayne in one of the 42 Chaneas. When they were traveling, some took them a week to travel. Somebody in the middle of the journey, there's no Mishkan, why? Because there were Mechapolis Amishka. They folded it, it was a tent. They moved from place to place. The Easter was a consecutive Easter. It wasn't only in the time where the Mishkan, they put up the Mishkan up and down, up and down. Even in the time where they were on transit, if somebody went to his backyard and he took a bow and made a barbecue, so right now they are still in transit. They never came to the final destination. The ETA is tomorrow afternoon and the ETA for the Mishkan is in four days from now. So, theoretically, they are in the era of Isra Bomis. How are they Makrif Korban? The Torah says you should be Makrif, but how are they Makrif Korban? So, I want to share with you a fascinating Medrash. Fascinating Medrash, Rabbi. It's not an impartial Nosei. Medrash talks about the four times where there is an Isra Hakravas Bama in the era of the Bama, of the Isra Bomis, where we find daily Isra or Makrif in Bama, even though it's not Isra Bomis. And the Pesach starts like this. There is a very beautiful Pesach for anybody who is a Atilim Zogger. 
is a is a in per in samach in tilim. The the pasuk says as follows: Li gil od veli menashe veEfraim mo oizroishi Yehuda mechaykeki. Ephraim is to me menashe is to me. Gilod, I'm sorry, Gilod is for me, Menashe is to me, Ephraim is more, is Roshi and Yudem Echaykeki. Zog the Medesh Rabbe in Parshas Nosser, Medik and Medesh Rabbe. Arbo ikrivu be Yisru Bomo, li Gilod, Oma Elohim shelo yovo odom be Yarech el Yoshe mi Gilod, she ikri be Yisru Bomo, Bonam is Bech Barakam, Vikim olo Kobum, Beis Hamidah she Yekayom, Vatoira Omro, Osro, Olof, Shenem Arishom, Olof, 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 Shenemar will be Dvorech or Sisi Havei Li Gilod. Li Gilod is talking about Eliyahu Tishbi Agilodi. He was Makim in the Boma in the Zman Isra Bomais. And if you be Mehar, somebody one day come and criticize Eliyahu that he was Makim Shutichutz, Li Gil, and Neo Martiloi, she asked him. Li Menash. Shall we yoyma Rodom Yahweh Hagidim bin Yoyish? That was from Menashe because it says in Elfi Adal the Alf Menashe. Sheikh be Isu Bama, Omar Avabe Bakan, and Sheva Aveas of Agidan by Sashor Shekire, Voyozar, Ben Koymevik, Balaylo Masaj Ere, Visho Muxel, Veskohov, Visho Nevel, Ubi Isu Bama, Sharamish Kanai Bishiloi. The story of Gidon, we're going to get there, he's one of the Shaftim, is talking about Gidon Ben Yoya, she's Makriv, seven Aveas he was over that night, he got a team with him, Makriv. One of the seven, he was Muxel, was Ashere. Was Lilo, was Zar, he wasn't Gidon, wasn't a, a Koyan, and the Mishkan was in Shiloh. Omar Elohim, Al Yehol, Odom Achel, Lishmi Osim, Ani Yashom, Martiloi, Shenema Vahiyah, Balaylo, Vahiyah, Mula Hashem, Kachis, Par Hashem, 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 Vahavicho, Vahaleise, Oilo, Be'atze, Asher, Ashetichos, Ubonisa, Mizbeach, Lashem, Elekecho. Have a Li Menashe. So Li Menashe, we had Li Gilod, that's Elio, I know, he was Maccabee, so Bomis, Nahar, Karma, Li, Li Menashe, that's Gidon, the Shefer was Meshevet Menashe, and he was Makriv in the time of Shiloi, in a Bomo. He was Makriv, even though it was Mani Sarabim. Ephraim is Roshi. This is what I want to get to. This is our bread and butter. Ze Yeshua Binun Shabami Ephraim Shenema Lomate Ephraim Mishe Binun. Im Yovay Odom Loima Lomo Bona Mizbeach Barevo, Kemo de Taimo Ozim Yeshua Mizbeach Lashem Leke Barevo, Alo Mishkan Hoyashom. The Mishkan was there. Which Mishkan? Mishkan Amidbar. We're still in Mishkan Amidbar. We haven't came, we never came to the second destination to Gilgal where the Mishkan is going to go further. How does he do that, Yeshua? Zog de Toyre Omar Eloikim, Ani Shamatiloi, Shenema Bonisa Shamizbech, Lashem Lekech Mizbech Avonim, the Ken Oimek, Ashatzivo, and Moshe with the Shenka Cosmos, Moshe Mizbech, Avonim Shlemish Latonifal and Balzim, Alisa, all the way, Hevei Ephraim Moiz Reishi. So here we have the Hemshech of the Post Ephraim, Yeshua Binun, and at Sivu from Akodesh Borhu to be Makriv, Li Ephraim. So he 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 has at Sivu a Rasha, it's called a Rasha. He has a tzivui to be makriv. And Yehudo Mechaykeki, what's the last thing Yehudo Mechaykeki? is a David. Shebo mi Yehudo, miyoyim alachod odom, lomo hikriv David beisu bomo, shenem arreya boko lo'oilo, before besamikdashi, this is the time in when this man iser abomo is, omar ha'elekim, aniyu sh'omar teloi, ve'akem la'ashem izbech. Akupanim, let's leave alone right now, Elio Hanovi, Gidon ben Yoyash, and David Amelch. Let's focus on Yeshua Binu. State as Be'emes, the Bomas were not Hutru in our evil. If somebody on the journey came in our evil on the side, or during the journey, the 60 mile journey, made a Tachanai, took, and he was back in the Korban in Bama, he's not, he is Osir. And why? Because the Easter to be back in Chutzah Mishkan is not Poker. The Easter for Mishkan Amidbor is not Poker. And it's Osir. I mean, Mele. The Easter is intact. And why did Yeshua build the Mizbeach in our vision today? Tonight! Before turning around, coming back to Gilgal. Why is Yeshua Binun building uh, Mizbeach is Mak of Koponis? Because the Torah says so. It's called a Rasho. And our Koponim Yeshua is doing it for a Rasho. Lichure, the question is I mean, the Mishkan is over. The Masoyas are over. They came to Eretz Israel. So Lichure, in the second. They came to Eretz Yisrael. That Mishkan is gone. 
And the the halacha should have been that there should have been a heter bamis even without the din of a rasha. Chore, the whole Mishkan Amidbo's era was calls man, they were in transit, and they come into Israel. The Masoyas are over as soon as they park it. The Goyen says the last Masa was the 42nd Masa when they crossed the Yarden. So when they crossed the Yarden, is over. The, the, the whole Masoyas are over. The 42 Masoyas, Vayisu, Vayachmo, Vayisu, Vayachmo, is over as soon as they touch the ground in Yericho, it's over. So Lechur, right now, it's not, the, the, the Mishkan is not Ayimed Bim Koyimoy. We don't have, why in the world should somebody think the is an Iser, I mean, it says the is an Iser, you see, the Medra says, for the only reason why Yeshua don't criticize him, because Ani Omarty, it's the same Hirasho of the Hirasho that he had by Leo Anovi and by Gidon and by, and by Limenashev Ali Ephraim, the whole thing, the Zelber Hirasho. So why do we need it? So I'm looking at the Sifri, the Sifri and the Apostle of Leisasu and Kechok Isha Yosha Ben Tase. Says the Sifri, is a more the Sifri. Hayoim, I'm reading the Loshana Sifri, okay? Hayoim onu metaltalin esamishkom, hayovo, hayoim anachno asurim bebomo. Mishebo novo ilo oritz, ain't anu metaltalin amishkom, ve ain't anu asurim bebomo. This is the Loshana Sifri, it's a price. According to that, Lechure, that if calls man the metaltal, the mishkin, the carrying the Mishkan is a Surim Bebomo. Ain't the Metaltalim, we stop being Metaltals, Muta Bebomo. So, in according to that, so when they are in Har Evil, they're still carrying the Mishkan, and they're also in Bomo until they come and they build the Mishkan in the Gilgal. So, Behechrech, that the reason why Yeshua was Mark of Kobonis, not because of Evil, we are in Shas Isoa Bomis, because we're still Metaltal and Mishkan. It's not totally in the fact that the Masoya is over. It's totally the fact that we're still carrying the Mishkan. We didn't leave the Mishkan and we built a new Mishkan. Gilgal had the same Mishkan and Midbo, but we metaltal it. So inasmuch that we are metaltal, there's no new guidelines and no new indications as to the Isra Abom. We are in Zman Isra Abomis. If somebody else would do that, not according to Tzivar Hashem in our evil, it would be Oiva and Isra Shkutichut Zachai Vekrisis. And Yeshua did it, Alpi Yerusha. There's a fascinating Yerushalmi. Yerushalmi says, very, very fancy Yerushalmi in Megillah, in the first paragraph. Yerushalmi says, I would like to read, it's a long Yerushalmi, I would like to read the sentence which is appropriate to us. Rabbi Yeso b'shem Rabbi Yechanon o'yimer, ze siman, kol zman shehoorein mi bifnim habomos asuris, yotzo habomos mutoris. There's a different indication as to what asers the bomos. If the orin is bifnim, there is an Easter bombs. If the orange left, is an Easter bombs. And I would like to, what's the what's the Hezbo? So the Pnei Moshe and the Kobanei, they have the Om Shatim. But I found a Meiri, a fascinating Meiri, in Daftas and Megillah, and I would like to read you the Meiri. The Meiri says like this. He's talking about that Mishnah that we read before, the reason why Mishahukam Amishken, the Bama is our sir, because the Mizbeach was together with the Orin. You know why the 14 years of Gilgal, the Bamas were muter? Because there was Sheva Shekim, Sheva Shekhilko. And we learned before, if you remember, the Oren was Lifneim, all the Melchamas, they took the Oren for traveling to penetrate, to conquer the Zion Amem, to Kibosh Eretz Yisrael. Zog the Meiri, being that the Oren was serviced as a tool and a vehicle to be Menatzeach in the Melchamas, it's not called Oren Bim Koyma. The Oren is not Bim Koyma, even though parking, I'm sure there were periods that they didn't go to Melchamas, it wasn't a consecutive Melchamas, but during that time, the Orin was not with them, and Okay, I don't understand. This is the Chur Stam Yor. I mean, B'Shev Shekim Shei understand, but what's the Shev Shechilku? What do they do with the Orin B'Shev Shechilku? Do they take the Orin to any place or Mechalik? We have to put it on the side. When we get to Chluka, we'll deal with this Meiri. But he says the concept is one vort. Rebalt, they were 
שבע שקים של שבע שחילקו דה אורלי נזנה במקוימוי, ממילא there is no implication of איסר הבומס, that's why in גילגול there are בומס אסורס. בואו לשילוי, אוקיי, בואו לשיל אחר חלוק הסורלץ, ואומר דה אורלי קבוע במזבח נאסר הבומס. שילוי, דה אורלי was parked in שילוי. בואו בנוי וגיבו אין אוטרו הבומס, כלומר בואו לנוי והשחור ושילוי, והוא גלו אורלי בידי פלישתים במילא הכהן. ובואו לנוי והביאו שומס המשכן ומזבח אבל לא יעשו אורן שהרי בזמן פלישתים הויו וכן בשור שאיך יבשור לצנוי וירא קויאלי ומי המשכן לגיוון לא הויו אורן אימוי שכבר גולו ביד פלישתים ואף שחוזר להם לא קבעו עם המשכן והמזבח לא בנוי ולא בגיוון מפני שהיו מסערים עליהם והיו מעמידים אויסא באורי המבצור וכן כשעומד זמן בביס אויבד עובד אדום הגיתי, עד שאין לו דומה לציון, כל זמן זה אוהל ולאורן קבוע במזבח, הותרו הבומס. The reason why בנוי וגיוון is ביתר הותרו הבומס, because when שילו מזכור of the פלישתים took the אורן, and they put in the גולוס. So you have a מישקין without an אורן. And even in, when they came back to, he says the אורן came back, they were petrified, but still from פלישתים. So they parked the Oren, they were afraid, once the Oren was captured, they were afraid the Oren was going to be recaptured again. So they were hiding places where the, where the Oren took place. So the, very interesting, Meiri, where was the Oren parked? There's a big shyly amongst all the researchers. Where were the Oren? We have different Kufis, we know exactly where it was. But where was the Oren all those decades, which did, was not enter given? But they put it away in the safe. They put it in Oren Amivtzor. And even they came to base Oyved Edom Agiti, he stays there and David comes and takes it with our goalies to Yerushalayim. So if Dover, in Noive given, the Oren was not in. If the Oren is not in, the Bambas is Mutaris. Even though the Tzamed Kufa was captured, the Tzamed Kufa was returned, but it was never parked next to the Mizbech. Bowli Yerushalayim v'niv nebe Yisraelom v'huk ba'akol al-mechoyne v'aroyne tzal Mizbech ne'esru ha-Bambas v'lo hoyo achare yemeter. וכל אוסם הזמנים שהיו הבומס מותו עשרה מזבח מכוי שזכור הוא אוסם בום הגדול לו מפני שהוא יקבוע במוק המכל שם כל הציבור ומכל מוקם לא יסר שם בום המעולוב כל זמן של אור קבועים וזה זה נדב וורד. בנובי גיוון כשהיה משכן והיה מזבח, המזבח הוא קוראים בום הגדול לו, הוא לא קוראים למזבח. אז זה מיוחד, מה זה וורד? מה זה אינצ'ה צ'יינג'ה? מה זה נפקא מיני? Why in Shiloh it's called a, a, a Bizbeach, and over there it's called the Bomogdeilu. He says the reason why it's Bomogdeilu is because in as much as the Oren is not connected to the Mizbeach, then the, he has a shame of a Bomo, he has all the demons, Gemakiv, Kumar, and Sibur, but he has a shame of Bomogdeilu. And then the Yerushalmi Esekashe, Boy Rav Zere, Kumar Rav Yis, Afidu Lishok, Agahu De'eli, what happens if Bizman Isra Bomas, after the, 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 the was Mukom, the Mishkan B'Shilo, you were walked out. Is there an Isser or is no Isser? Zog the Yerushalmi is a boy to leave Shittah. You don't know if the Oren goes out for a short journey and he comes back. What happened during those 24 hours? There's a fancy Meshachach man later in Sefer Shoftim that somebody asked him a question that uh, they came to Boichim and that was the time of Shiloh and they came to Boichim and there were Mark of Korbanus. The guy asked him, how are there Mark of Korbanus in Boichim? This is not Isser Abomas in goes to time, he brings you Shalom, he brings it to Sefta, and the end of the day that he goes with this year Shalom, he goes, he doesn't bring the Meiri, he didn't have the Meiri, but he goes through the whole history, and he's saying that the Kaveya is the Mishkan, if the Oren is in Kaveya. What's the Pshat in there? Zokta Meir Simcha, I'd like in short, we're we are wrapping up. It says, Vashem Imam, when the Oren is with them, that's the Mishkan, the Mishkan of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The spiritual definition of the Oren has to be Mokoim Sheashchina Shechen Esboi. And through the Oren, the Mish, the Shechina is Shechen Esboi. So it comes out that the Shechina is Mizgalo also only in the time where it's in the Mizbeach, where you have a practical Mishkin to be Mark of Korbanus and to serve a Kodesh Baruch Hu. So when the Oren is there, there is a Ba'is of the Omer Simcha, there is a Mokim Shechina, there is a Zgalo Shechina, and therefore, any akrova mechutz l'mokam gilu yashchine cannot be to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. That's called shkut akrutz. But she'enke, when the Oren is not b'mkoyimoy, there is no ma'amad to izgalu sashchine. You could be, you makir v'bomo, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu could be with every person, wherever he is, 
wherever is uh, you know there's a Maimon Chazal more in the Erevin I'm finishing that calls man shorim v'shchin eshruim shleivim koimom is asurim betash mishamita. Person is now at every relation is tashmish hamita in the time when the orn is in gold. And the question is, there's different perush in the yaivitz and marsho. Why? What's the connection between hamita and that? But as it seems to be from the goyen and the maral, and uh, you know, it's more the maral than the goyen. When there's no orn mukoymer, the shchina has doesn't have mokrim, and the, there is a bitul on the achdus alikis, and therefore that will be a. Also have Ashpo 